I'm good. So I have a little bit of an issue with your, uh, your... Yes, Carl, I get the joke, but look, you've already accidentally tweeted a few times from the company's account. So far, our followers have seen your Tinder pictures and admittedly a very cute video of your account, and now a very lazy joke about getting crabs from a diner. We're viral, Haley. Listen, Carl, this is a startup and our social media presence matters. Yes, of course, we are letting you go. Hey, uh, Eric needs to see you. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right, Carl. This will give you more time to focus on your stand-up. No, Carl, I will not go to your improv show, but I wish you the best. Steve, yes. I need you to hold my calls while I go upstairs. Is this about the crab tweet? Mm, Ivy League education, years of corporate climbing, and now I'm having a meeting about the crab tweet. Mm. This right. is my Good. life. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Haley. Hey. You can go on in. Thank you. Oh, Haley? Yeah. I have some inside information about Carl's crab tweet. Oh. Hey, what is it? Carl did get crabs, that's true. Everyone knows that. Okay. But he did not get them from Bay City Diner. That was just a joke. It's called a play on words. He was trying to be funny. Well, thank you for clearing that up, Lauren. You're welcome. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking to invest in those uh, NFTs. Did you get in on it yet? Yeah. No, it's like the whole thing. Oh, yo, yo. Hey, I got to go real quick. Can you, uh, can I call you back? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. It all sounds good. Just take care of that, all right? All right, later, later days, huh? Oh, what's up, Haley? Oh. <laughs> Look, Eric, I just want to assure you that Carl has been let go. We've deleted the tweet, and we have a team in place fielding complaints. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's Carl? Um. Carl's a social media guy who sent out the offensive tweet yesterday. Offensive? Really? Us? Like, 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. The tweet about having crabs? No, no, no. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, that wasn't us? No. Ah, bummer. I thought you came up with that one, Hales. <laughs> uh, no worries. That's not why I called you up here anyway. Um, have a seat. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, okay. As I know, you know, uh, we have several grocery chains that want to buy the company. Yes, how can I help? <sighs> That's my girl. Not my girl, I didn't mean it like that you're... I, you get it? It's fun. You, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, no, uh, I do. Okay, good. Like, yeah, I do. Anyway, I'm taking a few of the guys on a retreat to Arizona, and uh, I need a baller presentation to show them. Oh, okay. You have shares in the company, so better the presentation, the bigger your check will be. I'm on it. <laughs> I got this, Eric. <laughs> I know you do. That's why I called you in here. Come on. <laughs> okay. High five. High five. <laughs> so you take the energy with you, huh? Yep. Got it. You got this, Hailstorm. Okay. Hmm. Have fun in Arizona. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, you're not right. Still no answer? Uh, she's busy. She'll call back. Does she know how important this is? I think we should run the numbers again. Maybe... Reach out to Cedar Creek Bank. Well, I have an appointment at Cedar Creek next week. Mm -mm. No, we need Haley. No, she's gonna help us figure this out. I'll keep trying, don't worry. Hopefully she answers the phone one of these days. Nima, I know you probably don't wanna hear this, but uh, maybe it is a good time to consider selling. I mean, there's already an offer on the table, and, and you can use the money for retirement. You don't retire from something you love. This, this ranch has been in our family for generations. We made it through the Depression and the 80s. We're going to make it through this. But I wouldn't put too much stock in Haley. Haley's going to help us figure this out. Haley's so selfish. That's all it is. She's got her, her big, fancy city job. She doesn't call. She doesn't visit. She couldn't care less about this place or how stressed it makes Charles. You know, I've worked here for almost three years and I've never even met her. And I'm talking to a horse. It should be under Haley. Two? Yes. Is the rest of your party here? No. <laughs> I am a bit early. It's an online date. It's my first one in a while. Oh. <laughs> Is that sad? Kind of. I'll show you to your table. Thank you. Oh, but oh, we're a little far from the door. What if I have to make an escape? <laughs> Hilarious. Why don't you just sit at the bar until your party gets here? Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I have a glass of white? Yeah. <sighs> Charles, I'm on my first date in like over a year. I cannot talk right now. Thank you. I'll call you later. Your energy is just so great. Oh, Leo. A Pisces, but thank you 
Pisces, yes, I see it now. Oh, my energy reading has been so off this week. Don't you just hate that? It's like, how are you even supposed to function? <laughs> oh, this solstice has been crazy. Yes. Yes, it has been. So, Masonry. That is a really unique name. Thank you. Yeah, I gave it to myself in a naming ceremony in Chile. A naming ceremony? Yeah. Oh. So, I was there, you know, setting my intention for the new year, and I kept feeling all this, like, weird burden. So, my metaphysical advisor, Amy, was like, you cannot thrive in this world under the narcissistic shroud of your parental given name. <laughs> so I go to this butterfly meditation year uh -huh. and release it and accepted my new name. Well, that sounds unbelievable. <laughs> so how did you choose masonry? Oh, I didn't choose it. The universe did. I just received it. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, what do you do? I exist. No, I mean, uh, like, for work, for a job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student. Oh, that's cool. Where? Right here. Like, the restaurant? Or the world, the of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, does that pay well? Money is a construct, but if I had to use it to understand the value of my worth, yes, it does. I have over 2 million followers on Snapback, and I make about 200K a year on that. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. You should totally follow me if you don't already. So, Haley, mm. what do you do? Oh, uh, well, I'm the vice president of operations at Mega Energy Drink. But what do you do? Okay. I manage corporate relationships, branding, marketing. Right. But what do you do? Oh, I like hiking. Haley, may I share my truth with you? Yeah, sure. I'm very much connecting with you on a human level, but not on a spiritual level, and not at all on a physical level. Yeah, with your permission, of course, I would very much like to leave this interaction. Would you release me so that we can both continue on our journeys, but like separately? Yeah, of course. Thank you. I am so grateful for what I'm learning from you. Good journey. Good journey? Exactly. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Snapback. I'm doing a chakra bracelet giveaway tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Charles, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. Don't hang up. Listen, this is important. Oh my God, is everyone okay? Is Mima okay? You're supposed to text 911 if- yeah, yeah, she's fine. Well, kind of. Look, I mean, she really wants you home and um, we really need to talk about the ranch. The ranch? What about it? <clears throat> it's in trouble. And things are getting really bad. How is that possible? Isn't Superwoman Kate there to save everyone? Um, listen, I don't really want to talk about details on the phone, but um, look, can you please come home? Okay, just for a little bit. It's, it's just to see if maybe you can help. Look, I don't know, Charles, I have this, I have this big project and I... Haley, listen to me. Mimo refined us a few years ago to cover Papa's hospital expenses and uh, yeah, it's caught up with us. Yeah, I've been trying to work it out with the bank, but um, so far, no luck. Okay, well, this is, this is really bad timing. I have this huge presentation, hey, and hey, I just... We have Wi-Fi here, okay? I'm begging you. You haven't been back for a while, and look, if we can't figure something out, we're gonna have to sell. 
Well, okay, yeah, I see. The guilt trip? Well, okay. But you always did love Christmas at the ranch. Right? This will be a massive, massive inconvenience <laughs> for me. So you're coming. I'll have to work remotely, of you're course. You're coming. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I'll come. You're welcome. Biggest place with the least amount of people. How am I ever gonna meet someone new here? Even if I did, what would I say? I mean, I only talk to horses, and now myself, apparently. Oh, Kate, this is sad. Mm. Listen, I don't want to get all Mariah Carey on you or whatever, but all I want for Christmas this year is someone to share it with. And that's just between us. Okay? <laughs> I just asked Santa Claus for a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm officially losing it. to see Eric. He isn't here. He's already in Arizona and getting ready for the meetings. Already? That was fast. Okay, uh, so I have to go home for a family thing, but I will have my cell phone. I'll be checking email, and I will be working remotely. Cool. And you will let Eric know? Totally. Okay, well, thank you, Lauren. Uh, have a good weekend. <laughs> no, you did not. Hmm. Going somewhere? Yeah, some hunters said there's a post broken down by the creek, so I'm gonna take a look, pick up some supplies on my way back. Right. Well, you can't do all that in one night. I know that. Set up camp, be back early in the morning. Oh, no, you, you can't stay outside overnight. I'm sure I can, I do it all the time. Camping in the cold's one of my favorite things to do. Well, I know, but... There's a bad storm coming. You really don't know how to read the weather, do you? It's coming in a few days. Look, I've got my cell phone and my fancy signal booster. You, could you, would you just please go to Fox Springs, check into the lodge? Would that get you off my case? Yes, if you check into the lodge. All right, fine, I'll check into the lodge. Thank you. Just trying to save some money. Oh, no, I don't believe this. What's that vulture doing here? Howdy. Heard you got a fence post down by the creek. I think that's pretty generous for me to still want to buy the place, even if it is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> you slimy little. Get off my ranch. What did it do for you, Bert? Just thought I'd come by and see if you need any help with the fence post. Just being neighborly. Well, Kate here's just packing up to go down and fix it, so we're all good. Her? <laughs> She's going down to fix the fence all by herself? My well, Frank will be on the table forever, Charles. It's either me or the bank. And frankly, I'm a lot more generous. You need to make a decision soon. We can't do anything till my sister gets here. It's a family decision. Good. Maybe she can talk some sense into you. We all done? Yeah, we're good. Come on, Junior, we still got work to do. Oh, and uh, Kate, when you get through with the hayride, why don't you come on over to our place and help us with ours? Merry Christmas. All right, I'm heading out. Text me when you get there. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to move the cattle to the next pasture yeah. before it gets dark. 
Thank God Haley's coming. Can't wait to see their faces when we tear up those contracts. No, I just, uh, I just got here, so about to check in. Okay. Yeah, bye. Need some help, hon? Uh, no, thank you. I just need a room. The name is Haley Hollis. Oh, my God. Haley? Charlie's sister? Yep, that's me. Oh, well, I'll be! It's me, Lucy Brunson. Well, well, I mean, now I got married. Charlie and I went together for a while in high school. Oh, my God. Lucy! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my God, how are you? I'm great. Three kids, that whole thing. Moved up here to Fox Springs about 10 years ago now. What can I say? I'm a city girl at heart. <laughs> That's great. This certainly is a city, technically. <laughs> now, what Thank have you me. been up to? I heard you went to Dart. Dartmouth. Yeah, well, now I live in San Francisco and I work oh, at a tech company. Wow. Oh, that must be wonderful. I've always wanted to go to California. I love LA. <laughs> Oh, you must not be used to all this weather that we're having no, here. No, I'm not. No palm trees <laughs> no, and movie stars no. here. Although, I did a few commercials for the mattress outlet. Non-union. Well, I think I'm just going to head up and get some rest. Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah. I, I put you in the good room, right next to the ice machine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. Well, enjoy your stay with us. Thank you. And Merry thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just got here. Yep, okay. Yes, Charles, I'm just getting to my room now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck with the bank meeting. Okay, bye. Kate, I thought I might be seeing you here. Heard about that broken fence post down by the creek. I saved a spot in the barn for Molly. I appreciate that. How's uh, Walter and the kids? Oh, they're good. <laughs> Driving me to my absolute wit's end, mm. but good. You want your usual room? That'd be great. All right, here's your key, and the HBO's working tonight. Great, thanks, Luce. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. like in the big city. <sighs> oh, Lucy. Scandalous. No wonder you and Walter keep inviting me over for drinks. Very progressive, but no. Hello, Joan. Oh, hello, cowgirl. Not married, no kids. Less than a mile away. Cute dog. Automatic swipe right. 
Yes, the hot cat girl. <laughs> Whoa. That's never happened before. That was quick. Okay, you can do this. Hi. I like your dog. Oh, hot cat girl. I bet she can start a fire from nothing. Thanks. And one of my chopped liver. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're cute too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at this. Everyone's bad at this. It's awkward. <laughs> they seem to be relatively close. Maybe this would be better in person. Would you want to grab a drink? Oh my god. <laughs> well, she's bold. Do I want to grab a drink? Of course I do. Joan's hot, and I just talk to animals. For myself. I guess really just myself. Uh, okay. Yes. I'd love to. The wet whistle was close. Do you want to meet there? Sounds lovely. 30 minutes? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to get ready. I have to get ready. I didn't bring anything with me. Oh, make it, make it, make it. <sighs> Have, what do I have? I have, I have, I have chapstick. Oh, Jesus, Kate, chapstick matches. Great. If I this bold asking someone to meet so soon. Yeah, I'm not usually this bold in saying yes to meeting someone so soon. Mm. <laughs> but I'm glad you did. I work with animals, so I can go days without seeing another person. Oh, that's cool. What do you do? I, I, um, I work at a zoo. What do you do? Oh, just boring business stuff, PowerPoints and social media. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a zoo in Box Springs. Oh, there's not. Oh. I, I'm uh, just... Traveling through oh, to see a horse for the zoo. I'm I'm only here for a, a little bit. I'm only here for a couple days too, so I guess it was good timing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. What are you in town for? <laughs> Just dumb family stuff. I'd rather not talk about. I understand dumb family stuff. Oh. To dumb families. To dumb families. So, cowgirl, <laughs> what's your real name? Catherine. Catherine. Well, that's a 
pretty name for a pretty lady. <laughs> no, why did I do that? That was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of was. <laughs> that was kind of cute. Okay. Just like you. I, that did, I wasn't any better. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I have to take care of this. Oh, crap. I'm guessing everything's not okay. No, it's it's an emergency. Oh, no. I, I have to deal with this former social media director who's gone rogue and is just posting. Social media? That's an emergency? Oh, my line of work it is. Uh, interesting line of work. Look, I... I really, I, I really, I want this and I want you. But it's a social media emergency. It's a little bigger than that. See, we have this buyer's meeting and if they say that we have a bad social media footprint, then I'm not making the sound any better, am I? Nope. I hope you fix it. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's nice to meet you, Joan. Nice to meet you, too. Zoo. Haley? Haley Hollis? Hi, can I help you? I'm the Uber. The Uber? Your brother sent me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, um, I was up all night dealing with an emergency. Oh gosh, um, I'm sorry, is everybody okay? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a social media emergency. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, in my line of, never mind. You know, uh, Walter? Okay, Walter, uh, just give me a minute and I'll, I'll meet you down there. Yeah, yeah, okay. no problem. Thanks, I'll Walter. Be in, I'll be in the truck. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I was wandering in the falling snow Looking for a place to go Making circles round the evergreens Lit up like a starry dream Somehow you came to my side Like an angel on a winter night You made everything I Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, sight for sore eyes. My Christmas present. Oh, meanwhile, you're wearing your special earrings. Yeah, Papa gave these to me. Oh, I've always loved them on you. <laughs> hey, Mima. I... Haley's here. The prodigal child hath returned. Don't start. Okay, I'm gonna go finish making lunch. Come here. <laughs> good to have you back. Thanks. Well, let's get you settled in and grab some lunch, right? All right, that sounds good. Oh, how'd the bank meeting go? Um, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna go get settled and Definitely shower. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you're staying in the house now. Um, no, thank you. I'll stay in the cottage. I set up your old room. You know, I don't like staying there. All that therapy, and you still can't stay in your old room. Can I just 
I love the cottage, so I'll stay there. It's cozy. Kate lives there. Of course, the perfect ranch hand. She doesn't have her own place? Well, no. She's been a big help around here, so no. I mean, she stays here. Yeah, I know. You've only mentioned how great she is in every conversation we've had. Yeah, well, that's why it's so great to have you. Come on. <laughs> right. OK. I'm coming. There she is. Hi, Mima. Hey. Bacon at lunch. Yeah. Bacon's good at any meal, you know that. Mima. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How's your room? It's good. So, mm. the Cooper's goats got out. They chewed through the fence, and Charles had to go grab them. <laughs> He's been gone a while. A goat? Wait, okay, Mima, he is not good at this. Well, you were always a better rancher than he was. Huh. Remember that time you, I think you were 10, and you found that calf with her head stuck through the mm. fence? <laughs> when it took me, it took me like an hour, right? Yeah. Maybe over? To calm her down enough to get her head back through. Yeah. Well, I'm here and I'm ready to help. I'm so glad. Charles has been really stressed this last year. I mean, he thinks I don't notice, but I see it. Hey, there's our goat herder. Oh, man. Those things are faster than you'd think they'd be. Oh, don't let it get your goat. You know, like, the goat get uh, your goat. Ah, yeah, your goat. I see what mm -hmm. you did yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Still got it. Still got it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, bacon, nice. Um, I'm telling you, Kate's gonna have to mend that fence. Um, I'm fixing it temporarily, but it's just not gonna hold. Well, come on, everybody, eat up. Haley's ready to get started on things. Okay. Let's get to it. This is where all the revenues come from, and these are all the expenses I've had to cut. Wait, well, Christmas hayride is down 60% from last year? Well, that's what's killing you. You were growing each year from the pumpkin patch and the hayride, and then this year. Well, what's your marketing strategy? Uh, I don't know. Kate can tell you more about that. Kate? She's why it's lost revenue. No, um, she's the reason revenue's grown each year. Except for this year. Okay, well, this is the only year that matters, and it looks like she's a huge drain on the ranch. No, 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 no she's not. All right, you can start by cutting her and rent the cottage as an Airbnb. She's a huge expense, and if the Christmas hayride is 60% down. <laughs> yeah, the birds are running their own Christmas hayride to put us out of business, and it's working. Um, Kate, this is Haley. Joan? Mm, Haley. 
Yes, it's Haley. Haley Joan Hollis. Oh, you're Haley. Haley is your name? And you're Catherine? And you don't work at a zoo? <laughs> My friends call me Kate. There are animals here and people look at them. So, should I call you Haley Joan or is it just Haley by itself? Just Haley. You two know each other? No. Nope. Okay, well, good. Kate, you're just in time, because Haley and I were just starting to go over the ranch business. Dumb family stuff. Yes, I heard. I'm an expensive line item. Uh, well... No, I only meant that... Look, we've already had to cut a lot of people. Running the hayride, moving the cattle to different pastures, animal emergencies and general upkeep with just two people is tough. Yeah. I was just looking at the numbers on the marketing. I'm sure we can solve this with a little social media help. I mean, I'm just so dumb with this family stuff. What are you saying that for? Nothing. Kate! Kate! What's that about? Oh, what about? Haley didn't mean to suggest that we fire you. Yes, she did. Okay, well, that's obviously not gonna happen. You know, she's just stressed, like we all are. But I really need her to remember why she loves the ranch. I need her to come back more often. Mimo really misses her. I don't know why. Well, could you please just try to get along? It's just for a few days. Fine, but she needs to stay out of my way. There's a lot of work to do, and I don't have time to babysit. Okay, I'll make sure she stays out of your way. Just, yeah, be nice. I am nice. Uh huh. yeah, no, yeah, not a problem. Okay, I just want to give it one more look over, Eric. Great. We totally have interest, so let's move the numbers up by 20%. If this happens, you can retire early, Hales. Okay, well, that that is great news. I'll make those adjustments. I just have to redo all the slides, but I will get the presentation over to you tomorrow. Has to be tomorrow. Eric, it will be. scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love seeing you sitting in that chair. How's it going? Well, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> but with the move to intense grazing, it's just so much more time. Oh, yeah. Kate and Charles have to, they have to move fencing every two days and we have to let Adam go. So it's just them. And the Christmas hayride revenue is down because of the birds? Yes, they started their own hayride in town, and so folks just don't want to drive as far as us anymore. Bird Junior is a total creep. And someone's made an offer to buy this place? The birds. But they're a couple weasels. I'm not selling to them. OK, Mima, look, I get that, but they've made a really solid offer. You could take this money and retire, buy a place in Fox Springs. Stop working so hard. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Honey, I love this place. I love working with Kate and Charles. But this is a really good deal. It's hard to pass up. <sighs> I just not signed that You moment. had to. To take care of Papa. I know. I want to give this ranch to you and Charles. Not everything's about money, Haley. No, of course not. I know that. This is... Where your parents met? It's... It's where they got married. It's where I met Papa. He came one year for the Christmas hayride. And... He was standing on a bale of hay. He looked so handsome. <laughs> he fell into his arms. This is more than a business for us. 
I'm not going to give up. I will keep trying. That's my girl. You know, you should go talk to Kate. Mm. She knows this place inside and out, and she loves it. She's not very fond of me. Why are you going to win her over? You know, the hayride's starting in a few minutes. You should go. I haven't had the hayride in forever. <laughs> exactly. And she's done some really fun things with it. Yeah, I bet she has. some hot chocolate in the barn if you want to grab a cup and uh, we'll get headed out shortly. Hot cocoa's a nice touch. <sighs> That's nothing. Of course, the birds stole our idea for their new hayride. Well, we can agree. They're snakes. Yes, they are. You going on the ride? Want to help up? I can get on a buckboard okay. by myself. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> The trailer shifted. Yeah, they do that sometimes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some hot chocolate myself. So. Okay. Careful. I got it. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. The red nose looks good on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You really stepped things up. It used to be just a few colored lights on the trees and singing Christmas carols, but that was next level. Thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. Last year we did the Grinch theme. Oh. <laughs> well, you did a really great job for the final year. Final year? Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to stay positive for me, and Charles, but. So that's it? You're just gonna give up? Apparently, I'm the only practical one here. Look, I have to make sure that my grandma has enough to retire, and selling will make that happen. And what about Charles? Charles will be fine. He used to work in tech before he came here, so he can get a job anywhere. But he loves the ranch. We should have done the Grinch theme again this year. We could have just used you. I gotta put this stuff away.
presentation done. And send. Voila. Inspiration, where does it come from? Comes through our body from somebody else who passed it on. If we listen, we will hear them. So we thank you for this song. Cause you This right here is hot cocoa made from your papa's world famous recipe. It is Kate's favorite. And I'd like you to take it to the cottage and extend an olive branch. She hates me. To know you. She called me the Grinch. She was just her worry talking. We all want the same thing. To save the ranch. Oh, honey, it's more than that. It's what this place means to all of us. Are you worried about losing the ranch? Not really, no. What if I don't figure it out? You don't have to worry like this, honey. We just need to do what we can see to do, one step at a time. I hope to have that one day. You will. Now stop stalling. I'm not stalling. Oh, you're stalling. Take well, this where's off. my cup? Come on. <sighs> All right. Just for you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Hey, come in, please. Oh, Coco, are you nuts? It's freezing outside. And you came over here just like that? Yeah. In retrospect, it was a bad idea. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you walked over here in this weather. I brought hot cocoa. Oh, well, maybe I'll have to pour it all over you to warm you up. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mima says it's your favorite. Oh, you city girls. Give us some cups. What are you cooking it? It smells amazing. Oh, dear stew. It's your papa's recipe. Mima gave you his recipe? She did. Here. Have some of your olive branch. That's 
ますけれどな。Hmm. So, hold on. You walked over here in this weather, dressed like that, just to bring me hot chocolate. You might ask me to. <laughs> She said you might be able to give me some insight on how to save this place. That's hopeful of her. I don't think I can. I've looked at those numbers, and that bank loan should be illegal. I know. They need to sell, right? I mean, I don't see any way around it. But I didn't go to Harvard or anything. Dartmouth, but you don't need an Ivy League education to see how much trouble this place is in. Well, Dartmouth, maybe if you got to know the ranch again, you'd come up with some great idea. I went on the hayride. There's more to the ranch than just the Christmas hayride. Look, you never know where inspiration will come from. Besides, I'm sure you could use a break from the city. I like the city. You know I'm right. Um, what is happening? Power's out. I can see that. Why? A uh, snowstorm. Do you have a generator? <laughs> Small one. Enough to get the lights back on. It's fine. Oh, I have no cell service. Yeah, the tower's probably down. It's pretty typical. Okay, so we're just stranded here with no power, no heat, and no cell service. It's fine, okay? We'll be fine. We'll call the house. See? Told you. Ranch babe to Big Mama. Ranch babe? This is Big Mama. Go ahead, Ranch babe. Just wanted to let you all know that the power's out, but we're safe and sound. All right, good. You got everything you need? 10-4. Generator kicked in, so we'll just wait the storm out. 10-4, Ranch babe. Call her if you need something. Over and out. Problem solved. Well, I did not pick my handle. Mm -hmm, sure you didn't. <laughs> no, it smells just like I remember. Want to taste? Thank you. Mm. Want a cup? Okay. Yes. So, ranch babe. Mm. Let's try this whole getting to know you thing again. <laughs> okay, fine. What would you like to know, Joan? Well, since you don't work at a zoo, just tell me about yourself. Oh, you want to know about my dumb family stuff? You know all about mine. I'm originally from Kentucky, Lexington. My parents bred and raised horses. Isn't there a lot of money in that? Yes, and a lot of entitled rich kids trotting around on champion horses that they never have to brush or saddle. Like the little helmets and riding pants and whips? <laughs> yep, <laughs> the whole deal. Private schools, pageants, lavish parties disguised as charity fundraisers. Hmm. Kate the Rich Princess. That does not seem like you. It's not. Um, I tried to be the perfect daughter for a while. What happened? Oh, I love the horses and the work, but not the pretentious people. My parents wanted a junior league beauty queen. And I just wanted to be a cowgirl and date the other princesses. Ah. Their money, their rules. I couldn't do it. Anyway. So I left. So you haven't talked to your family at all? No, but I haven't really tried. I mean, we got into a huge fight before I left. We're all too stubborn to pick up the phone. You're too stubborn. You? Sorry. That's really tough. Yeah. What about you? What was the teenage Haley like? Well, I spent a lot of years being a sullen teenager. Really? I've seen some pictures of you and your parents enjoying the ranch. You did. But that was a, that was a long time ago. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back to the house, but um, thank you. Thank you for the stew and for warming me up. Uh, you, you shouldn't leave. Uh, the storm, you should just, just crash here tonight. Oh, no, well, look, I walked here, I can walk back. It's easy. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Good night.
I'm gonna need pajamas. How's it going over there? Uh, fine, yeah, just super comfortable. Mm. Well, you sure are moving around a lot. It's fine, I'm just trying to get situated, that's all. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to sleep if you're gonna be tossing and turning all night. Well, I just, look, I've never really slept with people here, so I'm, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, well, now I feel bad that I took your bed. Just get up here, this is silly. Well, I feel bad that you feel bad. Well, then come on, if you're not gonna do it for your own comfort, can you just do it so we can both get to sleep? Fine. Well, I don't know, maybe if we sleep back to back. Can you just scooch in? <laughs> no. I don't sleep next to the wall. Well, me too. Hmm. Rain. Sorry. Ah, okay. You can get it. Are you just, can you just share the blankets? Gosh. Just trying to get comfortable, okay? Okay, now you're. Can you not do your arm in my back? All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm just not used to sleeping to the wall. Just. just... <sighs> Freezing, and I'm not sleeping on the floor. So. Yeah, no, that part, that part's nice. Yeah, there's that. Good night, Kate. Good night, Haley. Morning. Never seen you sleep this late before. Yeah, I guess I must have been really out. Well, uh, glad to see you two found a way to keep warm. Well, um, brought you some fresh coffee and fresh peach scones. Coffee, please, thank you. Ah, uh, so, what is it that uh, you plan getting into today? Um, actually, I. Well, I was thinking that maybe I could tag along with Kate today and get to know the ranch. You, you're gonna ride out with Kate? Oh, yeah. You never know where inspiration can come from. Huh. You okay with that? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take care of her. Okay. Stay warm out there today. It's uh, cold today. Yeah. Have a good day. All right, you too. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I bet you didn't bring any riding clothes, did you? Nope. I bet you can start a fire from nothing. What? Oh, I just, oh, I, I used to know this girl who said she wanted a husband who could build a fire from nothing. Well, you can't build a fire from nothing. No, I mean, like, you could just find stuff and make a fire. I don't know, it just, I guess it made her feel like she could be with someone who could take care of her in dire circumstances. <laughs> yeah, well, that's dumb. I mean, I can start a fire from nothing, but I would never put us in a position where I would have to. Here, you can use my riding gear. Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Bucky, this is Haley. She's gonna ride you today, so you'd be nice. Uh, you're giving me a horse named Bucky? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know what it means. But she understood what you just said to her? Probably not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm not... I'm not a total amateur. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, by all means. <clears throat> I haven't been to Pilates in over a week. What do you expect? Yeah, that's totally it. Um, you know, there's no shame in using the stool, Haley. There's nobody here to impress. Okay, well, I'm not trying to impress you. Good, because you're definitely not. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll use the stool. Thank you. It's not me, it's just the clothes, are, they're limiting my range of motion. Totally. <sighs> you good? Yes, thank you. All right then, here we go. All right, Bucky. The Grand Oak. It's my favorite. Can I want to show you something. What is it? It's a surprise. A surprise out here. Is it a Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> I found it a few years ago. Let's see. Uh, here, there it is. Uh, Mima and Papa's initials. Okay. Wow. I'm going to take this one out. There's no saving it. We have to sell. I, like, I've been through this a million times and it's just, it is crazy and it's reckless to try to save this place. This is our home, Haley. That's the problem. That's the problem. You keep putting all this sentimental value on a business. You can't see what is so obviously clear to anybody with a calculator. This is our family home and 
Once they died, this was your home too. This was never my home. You love this place, I get that, but I don't belong here. You know that you do. Like you loved this place once, right? And, and I think that you belong here just as much as you do. I don't know where I belong. Maybe I don't belong anywhere. No, you know that's not true. You know you belong here with us. Okay, hey, we're your family. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How old were you? Oh, here? <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I mean when they... Oh. The car accident. They died three weeks before my 13th birthday. I bet high school was tough. It was. Yeah, I thought that leaving this place would fix everything. Did it? No. That took thousands of dollars of therapy. Oh, well, you're totally fine then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you really hated here. Mm. Tell that to my brother. I think you love it. But it reminds you of your parents. That's painful. You don't come around because it reminds you of them. You don't know me, Kate. Black girl had her parents. Hey. Look. I know there's a lot of pain for you here. That's understandable. But there's joy, too. That's a great speech, okay? Maybe you should take your own advice. <laughs> We're not talking about me. Well, let's talk about you. Because you can stand there and you can judge my life and my choices, but you're too stubborn to call your own family. Listen, that's different. Yes. Yes, it is because you still have family to call. And they may not be perfect, but they're still alive and you can at least just try to talk to them. I can't. I can never tell them how much I love them. Or if my dating life sucks or if I'm even in love. They're gone. Steve, hey, uh, I, I need a flight out right now. That's impossible, Haley. It's not like a major airport. Best I can do is tomorrow afternoon. Okay, just fine. What up? Whatever. Just can you just get me out of here as soon as possible? You okay? Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just dumb family. So, can you just send me the details when you have them, please? Family meeting. Okay. So, honey, um, Charles told me what you said last night. And, uh, and I know you tried so hard. So we're gonna take your advice and sell to Bert. I'm sorry, Vima. No, sorry. it's not your fault. Not your fault. Wait, uh, where's Kate? Kate? Well, I mean, yeah, isn't she a part of this, too? Yeah, she left early this morning for town. Oh. You know, I was thinking that maybe I could come back for Christmas. Last one at the ranch. That would be so nice. I'm so glad you came. 
still believe in you, Haley. I couldn't figure anything out. I'm really glad you came home. Mm, well, I miss me, Ma. <laughs> and you. <laughs> well, yeah, then you should come home more often. I will. But just because I, I realize that maybe I do have a little cowgirl in me. Yeah. Well, more than I thought. Bet. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. I don't think my go-to career's off to a great start, so we'll uh, see. Yeah, <laughs> we can agree on that. <laughs> but after we get things settled here, then I'll decide. We lost a whole lot, but we still have a whole lot. Love you, dork. <laughs> I love you, dork. <laughs> No, no, he's been in meetings since I got back. It's a good sign, right? Maybe. Speak of the devil. Eric wants me upstairs immediately. Ah, moment of truth. You got this. Knock on wood, manifest. Bye. Bye. Come on in. Look here, Hales. What's up, universe? Hales, we sold. We, 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 no, we, you're not joking, right? We, we did. We did. <laughs> and this is for you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I know, right? But you earned it. We all totally earned it, you know? Your presentation really sealed the deal. This is amazing! <laughs> right on. Consensual hugging. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the retreat was a dud, so you really saved us. The retreat was a dud? I thought that was a great idea. Right? Me too. When we got there, it was all like brunches and parties, champagne, just constant pampering. And that was bad? Yeah, I wanted to rough it. Oh. Sleep under the stars, rope cows, like ride horses. Mm. <laughs> Tough guy stuff, you know? Like, mm, just rugged man bonding. Mm. Like Brokeback Mountain, you know? Um, Eric, have you actually seen Brokeback Mountain? Uh, just the first half. But it looked really cool. Just some macho guys out in the wilderness becoming best friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there was one part that was actually really cool. They brought in this uh, energy healer and she did this like Chilean butterfly naming party or something. Oh, you mean like an, a naming ceremony? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> masonry? Makes, yeah, yeah, you heard of her? She's amazing. That, that was the first time I felt truly connected, just out there by the fire with the sounds of nature, you know? No screens, no distractions, just nothing. Yeah, I do know. I, I actually know exactly what you mean. So, did the universe give you a name? Totally. Oh. And it was? Eric. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a, I really felt my own power that night. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Yes. Anyway, Masonry, she's like a genius. She's got like three million snapback followers. She, oh, oh, dude, dude, if you stay, you should bring her on and do some social media stuff. Stay? Yeah, with that check, you don't have to work here anymore if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eric. Hey. Right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Guess is in here. Lawyers made all the changes yesterday. All you gotta do is get your memo to sign her name. Then I take it to my lawyers this afternoon before they close today. Where's Kate? We still have Christmas hay rides. <laughs> Not for long. You can't take away our Christmas spirit. No. We're going to continue doing these hay rides for the joy of the season until... until we have to leave. All right, Bert. Let's go have her sign him. Thank you, Charlie. I'll give you all to the end of the year to vacate. My Christmas gift to you. You're a real Santa Claus. She comes. I don't know who that is with her. Whoa, that's what I wanted to see. What do you think you're doing? We're not selling. Haley, the environment, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mason. I was going for, like, you know, a thing. Uh, but Haley, really, <laughs> what are you doing? And who is that? That is our new energy healer and social media director. Mm. You're what? Oh, I'm sorry, Bert. This doesn't concern you since you don't own this place. And as of this moment, you're officially trespassing. Tell that to the bank, honey. Oh. Well, I just did. See, I went there first, and I settled all of our debt. Then I went to the lawyer's office. They should be contacting you shortly. Mima, would you do the honors? Yeah. Bert and Mini Bert, get off my ranch. This isn't over. Oh, yes, it is. Honey. Bye. Did you really pay the bank back? Yep, we're debt free. How'd you get the money? Remember that huge presentation I was working on? Yeah. Well, it paid off. Wow, you didn't have to do that. No, I know I didn't have to, I wanted to. I love this place. Mm. And I belong here. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm so good to have you back here. Mm -hmm. Really, who is that? Right? OK, let's be honest. You are not great at this whole ranching thing. Ugh. But you are great at, you know, uh, operations, numbers. And if we just have enough of a ranch experience, we can make this place really profitable. Mm. And I have an idea for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right, Haley. It's perfect. The energy surrounding this place is like a feminine power goddess. You can feel it everywhere. There have been some really powerful women who've come through here. Really? Who is this? I'm Mason Reed. Wow. You are so authentic. Thank you. 
Listen, why don't you come with me and we'll go make a peach pie to celebrate? Oh my God. Peaches are my lunar cycle fruit. Oh, even better. Come on. <laughs> Haley, really? Yep, yep. <laughs> that was a blind date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is this big idea? Hollis Hills Outdoor Ranch Experience. Give overworked city slickers like me a break from the smog in their screens. They can come here, they can ride horses, play cowboy, and reconnect with nature. Oh, that is a really good idea. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that mean you're going to come back then? Well, I can't let you do all the ranching. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Woo! Come here. It's going to be so good to have you back. <laughs> and Kate's going to love having you here, too. Wait, Kate? Where is she? Oh, she's getting the hay rides ready. I have an idea. Oh, OK. What do I do with masonry? Um, whoa. Your energy is like, wow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> yes. swooping in at the very last second to save the day. What do you mean? The ranch. We're debt free. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took your advice. I called my parents. Oh yeah, how did it go? It went really well. You were right. I haven't stopped thinking about you. Me too. Uh, so me thinking about you, not you, me thinking about myself, because if I thought about myself, that would be really weird. Really? Yeah. This is the part where you stop talking and kiss me again. Not this part? Mm -hmm. Feeling comfy in my skin, expressing my feelings. 
Your b i r t h